Come on, Martin. Get up. Get up, Martin. He's dead. He can't be. I only pushed him. I tell you, he's dead. He knocked his head against the table when you pushed him. Push him? But I didn't push him hard at all. Well, you killed him. What now? <gasps> Oh, oh, God, I killed him, but I didn't mean to. I only wanted to scare him. I didn't know he hit his head. Believe me, I didn't mean to do it, really. It was your idea to speak to him. Ignacio, don't let them take me, please. Oh. Help me. Who is it? It's Martin, the telegraphist from Saint Esteban. must have come here with an urgent message. With yesterday's rain, he must have slipped and fallen on his head, pobrecito. An accident, huh? He broke his neck, the poor devil. Did you find the telegram in his bag? No, the bag was open and empty. He probably got lost in the storm. You're a clever one. You understand everything. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant, can we take the body to Santa Esteban? Take him to the barracks. I'll advise the authorities at Santa Esteban. <laughs> She's poor Martin's mother. What a terrible thing. Yesterday he was here and now incredible. Yes. Yes, terrible bad luck. He should never have gone out in that storm. That was Martin. For him, duty came first. All the same, the telegram was lost in the accident. Fortunately, we have a copy. Will you take it to Don Venusiano, Lieutenant? Mm -hmm. Hey there. <laughs> what is it, Don Venusiano? Did I scare you? Well, I wasn't expecting you. Forget it. I'll buy you a drink. Have you heard of the accident? No. There's been an accident? What happened? Was someone hurt? Martin, the telegraphist. I found him dead just out of town. May you rest in peace. It's strange, huh? He went out in that rain, and he didn't even have a telegram.
Come on. The telegraphist of Saint Estevan did not come back. I want to know if you know anything. I saw nobody. Right. From the beginning. Yesterday the telegraphist came to this place. Hmm? I didn't see him. I saw nothing. If you don't talk, I'll see that they hang you as an accomplice to a murder. I know you're Ignacio's woman, but he can't help you, so talk. Let's start again. Yesterday, the telegraphist came. He, he came for a drink, then. He went. Go on. He, he came with Don Venustiano and he took a room. What now? I can't wait on you. I must work at this time. Sit down with your rest. So here is the complete gang. A respectable alcade. Our hospitable innkeeper. <laughs> our most pious sacristan. And Dolores, companion of our most pleasant hours. Yeah. Dolores. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. It was you who came to my house, suggesting I should take part in the business. You're lying, you bitch. You are lying because you hate me. You want to ruin me. Oh, oh my God. You stupid I son of a bitch. Shut up. You're all related to one another. You're in this up to your neck. I'm going to read this evidence against you. Please apply to the Alcade of Hoya for the identification of the legal heir of Leon Carrizo, deceased at Kansas City, leaving $10,000. Signed, John Atwell, attorney at law. You said you had destroyed it. Don't worry, he destroyed it all right. It's just that ignorant people don't know that a copy is kept on file at the post office. It was an unfortunate accident. Being killed is always unfortunate. And we were having an argument and he fell down. An argument? What about? I swear to you it was an accident. Mm -hmm. You say so. But the judge will decide who is lying if someone tries to make it look like an accident. I'm afraid you'll all hang from the same gallows in the end. Would you like to see your confession? Here's a pen. Sign. If not, I make no bones about hanging you tomorrow morning.
So that you find you have a hope. Because now I give the orders. <laughs> Pancho! Ah, it's you, Teniente. Some time since you've been here. Hey. Get down. No, I don't carry arms when I come out here. Even if you are the chief's friend, you are still a teniente. Is Pancaldo here? Yes, but today he is nervous. Very nervous. Well, you can go. Cabron, you have not brought me a sack of grain for a month. You must tell me why. It's not my fault. I swear to you it isn't. The soldiers came and took it all away. That's not true. You're a bloody liar. The revolution happens to need grain to eat, not a bloody liar. The revolution is over. Huh? Not for me. Finish him off. <laughs> what about you? You know me a long time, Pancaldo. Call me Generale. I've always called you Pancaldo. Then why didn't you bring the grain? I have a daughter. She needed it. Because she's expecting a baby. Let's hope she has it, boy. Let him go. Pancaldo Hernandez is here. Buenos dias, Pancaldo. Hola, Teniente. Business? Private business. Political or private, it's all the same. It's all money. Come in. them shoes shining fit for a wedding. Yeah. You know you're a hard man to puzzle out. You expect me to give you one of my men for this little job you mentioned? And then the poor devils be hanged? Why? I need both the crime and the criminal. That's all. Hernandez, have you gone crazy? Well? Any man I give you is worth 500 pesos. 500 pesos. I have no doubt, Teniente, you'll make a good deal of money on this. I don't think it's too much to ask 500 pesos. How about the full time's sake? It's done. <laughs> bueno. I have just the man for you. Lively enough to kill someone. Uh, not alive enough to matter if he's killed. There he is, the fair one. But he's a gringo. Once, maybe. Now he's no better than a dog. You call him with a whistle and send him running with a kick. He's your man. 
If that is true, send him to Hoya. All right. But payment in advance. Don't you trust me? No. <laughs> Some tequila now. <laughs> hey, give him his tequila. He deserves it. Look, are you having a bad time of a gringo? Huh? I love you like my own son. I saved you when you were dying from thirst in the desert, didn't I? I fed and protected you for months and didn't ask anything in return, did I? But one day, debts must be paid. Huh? Drink. Go on. Hmm. You'll pay your debts now. You won't find it difficult. It's very easy. Take a mule. You have to go to Hoya. What for? A job. You have to kill someone. Kill a man? I told you it's not difficult. It's all fixed so you find him alone, without a gun. You'll just take yours out and fire. Bam! Difficult? Hmm? Ever killed a man that way? Let's start. I don't tolerate cowards. You owe me your life. I saved it. Pancho Villa was right. You gringos are just dirt that even vultures couldn't eat. Come on, Luke. One more or less won't matter. You know, men are like ants. There are too many of them around. All you have to do is make up your mind. It's not hard to kill a man. Make up your mind. Or rather, your guts made into a rope to hang you with. It's a very good idea to make you break your own neck. Don't you think? It's simple to save your measly neck by doing what I say. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> when I look at you, I wonder what gringos were like when they were alive. <laughs> hey, look. How about it? Well, now you have to go to Hoya. I wouldn't want you to leave without this.
recognize it? It's yours. How come you own a professional gun? I bet you don't even know how to use it. Who's the man? I don't know. His name's not important. You just go to Hoya and wait for him. Okay. First pay. No pay later. No money, no pulque. Get going. Saddle Trump, Ignacio told me to take him in. And since when does Ignacio give orders around here? Get out.
a drop of that. You are here again. Did you escape? The lieutenant set me free. The lieutenant. Watch him. See that he doesn't steal. yourself, brother. You're in the house of the Lord. Five hundred pesos. The lieutenant said so. A hundred and twenty-five a head. Why isn't the lieutenant paying his part? Go and ask him if you want to know. Why is it discussing it? We got a knife at our throats because of you two idiots. We are in his hands. Stop it! Tomorrow we have to have 125 pesos. I haven't got it. How could I? I could lend you the money, Jesus Maria, if you are willing to give me half your share. The Lord said, thou shalt not engage in usury. Then pay. I can lend it to you, cousin. You will burn in the fires of hell because the Lord said, Thou shalt not commit impure acts. Come in, see me, cousin. I don't want to interest in you. Your money is the fruit of your sin. I'll wait for you, cousin. Ah! Hey. Hey, wake up. It's time to go home. Yours. Can I get on it? You can have him if you want him. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sick of the beast. Are you going to sleep there? Have you no home? Come to my house. There is a bed. Don't be afraid. Me and my mother live alone. And you can have a drink, too.
She's speaking to the spirits. She sends the devil away, and then sick people get well again. The priest hates her because everyone comes to her and not to him. They love Maria. <clears throat> It's not stealing, it's mine. What do you want it for? I know you want to go to that bitch and enjoy yourself, all right? Go, go! But the money stays here. Mercedes, I must have 125 pesos. It's really desperate. What do you mean? Not in a position to tell you we are going to be rich. We can leave Mexico and start a new life together. Lies! All lies! You want to rob me? Give it to me! Never! It's mine! I it's die mine! First. It's mine! I die first! I die! <coughs> you bastard! You want to kill me! Go away! Come back tomorrow! I want to sleep now! Dolores, it's me! I want to speak to you! Look who's here. That isn't my dearest cousin. <laughs> my goodness, what an honor. What an honor. You want me to lend you 125 pesos, is that it? Oh, you take that unclean money from a sinner like me? I am the greatest of sinners. Confess, cousin. What are you a sin? The sin of desire, maybe? Ah, uh, Jesus Maria. A holy man like you. You want the money, eh? Do you want that money? In that case, cousin, you must earn it. How? Oh. Look for it. If you find it, it is all yours. Look for it. Cold. Cold, 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 cold. Warmer, 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 cousin, warmer. Cold, 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 warm, 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 warm. Hot. Take it. Go on. Take it. Take it. Take it. And now get out. Get out!
You got any tequila? No. Do you want some peyote? If you eat peyote, you get nearer to God. You can't get nearer what's not there. You are scared, like a wounded animal. I ask for tequila! <laughs> We are going to town now. Do you need anything? How are you, Luke? You had a good rest? It's up to you now. Tomorrow, go to the rock where the agaves grow. You will find someone there. Shoot him and make sure he's dead. Spancaldo sends you a warning. Don't make mistakes or he'll be here. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, the rock where the agaves grow. Adios, Luke. Time for bed, Manuel. I brought you something. Kill a man tomorrow. I don't even know who he is. But if I don't do it, I'll be killed.
someone has paid to have Manuel killed? I don't believe it. You must be mistaken. He was there by chance. Manuel goes there often to pick up cores of agaves. It's a good cure for the fever, and Ignacio needs them to make pulque. You're not his mother. No. He was nearly two when I met his father, Leon Carrizo. Why'd Carrizo leave you? He had to run away. Hernandez wanted to arrest him. He stole something. And where's he now? Who knows? Maybe he's dead. Maybe in jail. Why'd you keep Manuel? What was I supposed to do? Leave him to die of hunger? You gotta get him away from here. Go away? Where? You made us pay 500 pesos to buy your part in the business. And now look what you've done. Manuel is still alive, and the gringo's in town. You're black, Milos. He knows everything now. You see, he kill us. Calm down. Nothing has changed. If the Americano didn't do what he was supposed to, get someone else to do it. It's not difficult. I paid purposely to keep my hands clean. I'd like to give up the whole thing. It's all gone wrong from the start. Bad business ends badly. How can we hope to get our hands on $10,000? It's no use. A poor man will always be poor. Shut up, you fool. Why does change your heart all of a sudden? After making me pay 250 pesos. Don't worry, Dolores. Venustiano isn't serious. Why are you Venustiano? We already have the culprit. Now all we need is the crime. Well, that's something you can do, Ignacio. Tomorrow. Me? The Nino works at your posada. He feels secure with you, trusts you. It wouldn't take much to get him out of the way. I can't! Yes, you can.
I gotta find out which one of us is gonna win. They want to kill Manuel. Why? Never mind why. Now they want to kill me, too. I can just hold out a little longer. The worst will be over. My hand won't shake. <laughs> Could have been better. You know, that lady's a puta. How do you know that? That's what everybody says. They call her the puta Dolores. Even Ignacio and Aunt Rubia, too. How many relatives you got? Lots. Ignacio, too? Yes, I have many uncles. Which one do you like best? Ignacio. Why? Because when he beats me, he doesn't hit me as hard as the others. Yeah. Where were you yesterday? With that? Manuel isn't going to work anymore. He's resigned. In that case, get out. But we're customers, aren't we, Manuel? Well, what is it you want? 
Nothing. Come on, Ignacio. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, Venusiano. Venusiano. Another relative of yours? Yes. you offer me. I wouldn't touch you with a finger. Not for all the gold in the world. I broke open the arms box. It was money belonging to the Lord, and I stole it. My soul is lost because of you. So this is holy money, cousin. It must be worth a lot. Pick it up, cousin. And you will be rewarded. Each one of these coins is a piece of your soul. <laughs> you expect too much, cousin. Just for one piece of your soul. <laughs> Come on, cousin. Come on. Come on. That's it. <laughs> Stay there. Fun 
Pantaldo sent us. You know Pantaldo. He's good and generous. He would do anything for a friend. But you see, he hates those who are ungrateful. He has done so much for you. And this is the way you're going to thank him. He gave you just a small job to do. Something between friends. But you just couldn't care less. You want to do things your way. And so Pancaldo told us. Go to town and tell Luke to think of me. Look at my hands. I can't even use a gun. to have the Nino killed. Luke! Where's Manuel? Find him! Huh? What Nino? You know what Nino? Manuel! You're mad. I don't know nothing about any Nino. You lie and tell the truth or I'll kill you! <laughs> Bastard. What do you want now? Go away, Nino. Has the devil brought you here? I'm going to stay. Who sent you here? Why have you come? I'm a customer. Go away. Let Go him away. be. Let him be. But I'm closing now. Go to bed. I'll close the place up. Go to bed. Go on. Manuel, come here. Come here. Manuel! Manuel! Is Hernandez a relative of Manuel? No, why? Uh, he's in this up to his neck. He's the one killed Venustiano. Why? Killed Venustiano. I thought he committed suicide. Ten inches between his feet and his stool. You ever seen a man jump into a noose? Manuel! Hey, could be here that Ignacio's? Ignacio. Can't we see the face tomorrow? No. They hide because they're frightened. Only at night they come up to the top of the water. Come on now. Come on. How can you see if you don't take a look? Come on. Come on. Look. Look. I lift you up on the edge. That's it. Go on, look. Please look at the fish. Why 
Is he all right? Venunciano was right. They are the careers of the money. Brought us nowhere. Brought who nowhere? Leon Caris with te. Yeah, and left some money. Then it must have been his relatives who wanted to get rid of him. Venustiano. Ignacio. Dolores. And Jesus Maria. Ignacio! Dead! She drove me to this. She was impure. She was possessed by the devil. It was for her I robbed the Lord. Let me go. I must go to San Esteban. Now that I am Leon Carrizo's only heir. The money is all mine. Hernandez can't kill me. He lose everything. I'll take you to St. Esteban. Oye, 
the church. You promised to take me to San Esteban. Yeah, well, we're going there now. Let's go quickly. I must collect my money. I must buy a, a gold crown for Our Lady of Guadalupe. I must save my soul. Yeah, look, she's waited this long. She can wait a little longer. Hernandez, I want to talk to you. You're not making it easy, Hernandez. Let the sacristan go and come out with your hands up. No deal, Hernandez. I'm taking Jesus Maria to San Esteban. You'll be hanged. You'll never get there. Repent, Hernandez. All of you repent. You must all repent. Go push the Lord to God. <laughs> Gringo, what now? I want to see him hung. Hear that? They're building the gallows. It's very good for the people to see someone hang every so often. He does a simple man good. Who know there's someone worse off than he is. How could you hope to get your hands on Leon Carrizo's money? Adopting Manuel and marrying Maria? Not 
bad. I could think of worse ideas. How could you get hold of the money? You're not even a relative. They're all dead. I'm not such an idiot as to think money is everything. The Nino and Maria know too much. I'll offer you a way to save yourself. You'll tell me where Manuel is, I'll set you free. And how can I be sure of that? You have my word. <laughs> That's not much. Lieutenant, we are ready for the hanging. Not till I'm ready. I have to interrogate the prisoner. Hmm. Unlock it. Saying? The execution is postponed. The lieutenant is questioning the prisoner. Hey, come on, everybody. Let's have a drink. We'll drink to poor old Ignacio. <laughs> Go home! Go home! Don't drink! Don't get drunk! If you have to remember Ignacio, go to church! Answer me. Where is the Nino? In Maria's house. Hidden in the cistern. Hmm. Stay here and don't take your eyes off him. You, follow me. To kill Pancho and Pepe, you need ten well our men. That gringo is only half a man. It's true. We all thought the same. But suddenly it seemed he was ten feet tall, with two guns blazing in each hand. How come you still alive? What could I do? Pancho and Pepe had been killed. I was alone. So you left and ran. I left and ran to tell you. How else would you know? <laughs> Pancho. My punch and Pepe, the best gun I had. God, dead. No. 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 Get on your feet, all of you! Get your horses and guns! Let's go!
going. Ten ahí los caballos. Yes, sir.
No. Miss you. expected to be carried out. Even if it'd kill a kid? You must be joking. Why would I want that? Kill that kid? I'd never do that. I swear I'd never do that. I'm not a child murderer. What kind of a man do you think Pancaldo is? You heard what the gringo said. Have you anything to say, Hernandez? He made it all up to save his damn skin. Ask the kid what happened in the Argovies that morning. Ask Hernandez about $10,000. Yes, I might just do that. $10,000, eh? And you told me I have that much in pesos to be divided two ways. Nino, come here. Tell me the truth. Don't be afraid. The other morning, did you go to the agaves? Yes, I often go up there to collect the agaves. Luke was there too. Then somebody tried to shoot at us. Go on. I swear to you, I knew nothing of this. No one told me. It was that stinking pig, Hernandez. I couldn't murder a baby. Nobody could accuse me of being immoral. If I had to do a thing like that, I'd want to laugh as much again. I, too, would have disobeyed my orders, but you made a mistake keeping quiet. Pity you had to shoot Pancho and Pepe.
Why don't you come with me? You can take Francho's place. Gringo, wherever you go, Pancaldo's heart goes with you. Ah. Adios, amigo! Anda! Anda! Thank you.